Hey, what's going on you guys? It is Carter here, and today we are playing some more American Truck Simulator. And today I'm hauling a nice load of cars. Um, just give me a quick trip, 177 miles. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so they're waiting for me. And uh, I have done a little bit of um, driving, not much. I made it to Las Vegas. Uh, I didn't get to drive down the strip though. I don't know why I just opened up my map. But yeah, I didn't get to drive down the strip. I was a little bit sad about that. But then it gave me the idea, and I figured I'd, I'd try to ask, you know, the people watching. Um, so I just unlocked the five hundred thousand dollar loan. Sh do you think I should do that or take out a hundred, like save? Because I think a stock truck cost, like the, pretty much the one I'm driving, costs around one hundred twenty-five thousand. So I don't know if I should save up. Um, like, get to twenty five thousand, take out a hundred thousand dollar loan, or kind of go big or go home, and get the five hundred thousand dollar loan and buy two or three trucks, so then I can have company right away. Um, so just I guess leave your input in the comment section down below because I I don't know what to do. I guess. Um, I'm just gonna yeah like I I don't know. It's a really hard decision because. I know five hundred thousand dollars puts you in a huge hole, and I don't want to get stuck in that right away. So I, I might just go with a hundred thousand, which I think I might do. I don't know. Leave what you think. Okay, so here's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go with a hundred thousand, but then um, maybe like once I get like fifty thousand of that paid off, you think I should go for a five hundred thousand dollar loan, start a company, or what do you guys think I should do? So. So I'm gonna go with the hundred thousand dollars. I just decided that. <laughs> um, the question is now, what do I do afterwards? Should I take out a hundred thousand dollar loan and save up the other twenty thousand, or should I get a five hundred thousand dollar loan so I can buy like four trucks, um, you know, so I can have like four more trucks in my company? I feel like that would be uh, a good idea and a bad idea. You know, it's I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. So yeah, leave your opinion in the comment section down below what you would do and what you think I should do. And I hope I didn't just miss a turn. I don't think I did. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get on to the, with the trip. Um, I'm driving a Peterbilt today. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Driving a Peterbilt today. Uh, day cab. I don't know much more on the truck. I uh, hope I didn't just damage it. Knowing my luck, I probably did. Need to be paying attention more. One thing I notice is I see these tr these cars all over the side of the road. These, uh, I don't know, they kind of look like a Tesla, kind of look like a Ford, a little bit of everything mixed in. I'm not sure what they are. I see them all over the side of the road. Never see one on the road. <laughs> but, um, lane change. You know what, I'm not even going to look because I'm just going to crash. I'm actually just going to get back in the cab because I'm just going to end up screwing myself over, losing money, and just being that much further away from 25000 but yeah, um, one thing I noticed is there's a lot of like cool cars on the side of the road, and you'll see them doing things like on like in parking lots and stuff. But you don't see them on the road, and it kind of annoys me actually, um, mainly just because I don't know why have them in the game in the first place if you're not even gonna put them in the game, like make them an actual part of the game. I don't know. just it's just something I've been thinking about um, in my travels, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I haven't actually driven too many day cabs, but they did hit the nail on the head when it came to like what the day cabs pull. Um, most of the time in real life, you know, day cabs pull things like cars or um, construction equipment or gravel trailers and stuff like that, and that's what they pull in this game. So they, there's one thing that I don't know why I'm swerving so much. I'm just not really paying attention. That's one thing that. Uh, uh, SCS, I think it is, whoever makes the game, studios, whatever they're called, did a really good job of. Like, I'm really impressed. Like, two thumbs up to them. They did hit the nail on the head with its different kinds of semis driving different kinds of trucks and stuff, or different kinds of loads and stuff. Um, another thing I noticed is they actually they're pretty good with uh, like if you're do doing like a load with a day cab. If you're pulling a like a box trailer or a cargo trailer, whatever you want to call it, 
Um, a lot of them actually have the wind deflector on top. Like this one, you know, it's just a flat top because I'm pulling a low load, so it won't make much of a difference. And actually, it'd probably may do more damage to my gas mileage than it would help it. But um, yeah, like with a with like a cargo trailer, a box trailer, whatever you want to call it, um, a lot of them have the high rise feature on top, which obviously helps their dynamics. Which I was really impressed with because I didn't think they get that much into detail, but they did, and I'm really happy they did because it looks really good and it feels really authentic. And uh, I don't know why, but this is like the fourth cop that's passed me. It feels like. And I, I'm trying not to speed. Like I don't want to speed, but I want to speed at the same time. And we're actually almost there. Wow. Um. Yeah. So what do you think I should do after I get my truck? Because in I might make a video of me buying my truck, but I don't know, I don't think so, it's not really that worth it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to make my company colors uh, uh, based after my channel colors, which is uh, kind of like a deep blue with a, oh, nice bright yellow. Oh, come on, come on, don't die, don't die, don't die, come on, baby. Um, it, it's going to be kind of a basic truck, obviously it's going to be a day cab, I didn't unlock any of the high uh, sleeper cabs or anything yet. Which is fine, I like the day cabs. But the reason I'm buying the truck, because most people don't buy a truck for a long time, is I, f I just uh, leveled up. Come on. Oh, she killed her. God damn it, I hate this traffic. There we go. But, um, I did level up off camera, and I didn't feel like it was worth making a video just for a level up. There's two cops in a row. I didn't feel like it was worth making a video just for leveling up so I didn't but uh, I picked level one long distance driving and I figured with the longer loads why not get your own truck um, and at the very least have someone else driving it you know like if I don't want to do super long loads or I don't want to do the loads that other companies are trying to you know give to me then why not just at least hire a driver you know having two trucks going at once it just feels like a good investment um, plus you know why not take a risk I mean that's what the game's all about I guess and taking risks and just relaxing even though this game stresses the hell out of me <laughs> um, mainly the traffic I hate the traffic I hate the traffic but yeah so we are here uh, like I said leave in the comment section down below what you think I should do um, and you will be I think some of you will be happy to know that I can successfully back up now without any problems because I finally remapped that goddamn button that's been giving me so many problems. Okay, I was going to say, if that's what I have to back into, I'm fucked. But no, it's not. Okay. And we're just going to come in like we stole it. And I'm sure we're going to have to park next to that tanker. Uh, why not? 90 XP, we need that. Where is that? That seems like a shitty place to have to park. Where are you? Where is this? Oh, holy Christ. Okay, so... Let's try to jackknife the trailer around. This is gonna be... I've, I haven't had dealt with these guys yet. Train yard. Okay, so I think we're gonna be too close to the those spools over there, but we'll uh, give it a try. So we'll kind of come out wide a little bit, and then we'll try to swing it. Oh, swung too early. We're swinging too early. And then we'll slow down, get the tires turned all the way, and then try to swing in. This should work in theory. Uh, I know that to be really realistic, I should be using you know first-person camera, but I am not good enough for that yet. I'm sure eventually I will be, but I used to be in Euro Truck Simulator, but I, I haven't played the game in so goddamn long. Okay, so we didn't swing over quite wide enough. I thought the, t the space was a lot tighter than that. Um, so let's get as far back as we can. Ooh, we're gonna grind. Yeah, we're grinding. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, so now let's pull ahead. This is a sloppy ass parking job. It's a good thing they don't have visual damage, otherwise we would have a lot of paint off already. And I, I hope they don't dock me for that 
stupid wreck I had at the beginning, but they might. Who knows? It's, it's my fault anyways. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the truck. Beautiful little Peterbilt. Yeah, I think we should be able to float it in. This should be close enough. And there it is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. And, uh, yeah. Like I said, leave it in the comment section down below, too, what you think I should do with my money. I'm going to let you guys, after I buy my truck, I'm going to let you guys take over my company, pretty much. So, if you have any suggestions as to what I could do, what I can do, or what I should do to make more money and better videos, leave it in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, this was Carter. Peace out.